are in the module 32 of week 12 of the course on cyber security. The major focus of this module is the branches of digital forensics. Digital forensics can be classified into major divisions like computer forensics, mobile device forensics, network forensics, database forensics, cloud forensics, digital image forensics, digital video or audio forensics, memory forensics and finally IoT forensics. This is the most significant category of the digital forensics because in most of the cases computers or laptops are involved to commit the cyber related crimes. As we discussed earlier, investigators can find the evidences either by recovering the deleted evidences or in its original form. Computer forensics is also a great challenge for the investigators as varieties of operating systems and platforms are available today. Following are the subcategories of computer forensics from which investigator can find evidences. First, registry forensics. Registry is the central repository that keeps details about the installed or uninstalled application with other important attributes. Second is browser forensics. Browser forensics is very important evidence in the cases related to internet frauds as browser keeps the browsing history and log of the activity performed by the user. Again, it is a challenge for the investigator because varieties of browsers are available today. Next is a third party application forensics. The forensics of third party application is the need today because there is various third party applications are used such as the instant messaging application, then the messaging applications, file upload and download applications, email applications and file storage and synchronization services etc which are generally installed in the computers and laptops. As the usage of mobile devices began to grow consistently, the origin of mobile device forensics has also evolved. It examines the evidences present in all types of cellular phones, personal digital assistants, tablets and smartphones. The places such as USB drives, GPS, cameras, contacts, browsing history and other medias are also searched for retrieving confidential and sensitive information. Mobile forensics involves the recovery of the evidence from call logs, SMS, MMS, browsing history, external image media, external media, audio and miscellaneous, location details, internet activity, built-in applications, third-party applications, social networking applications, etc. It's always a challenging task for the investigator because varieties of mobile phones with varieties of operating platforms are available today and the investigator needs to work on actual mobile phone instead of its image. It's also considered very complex because deleted data can be recovered from the rooted mobile phone only and the routing phone process may change the integrity of the evidences. The network forensics includes the digital forensics of network devices such as routers, servers, server logs, firewall logs and proxy server logs etc. 
Keeping the backup of the logs of the network device is very important because it keeps overwriting and it cannot um, keep the backup of the same as it is difficult to extract the evidences. Usually network forensics emphasis on tracking and scrutinizing computer network traffics to collect evidences that are beyond endorsement. It also perceives intrusions that come from other unauthorized systems or network resources. The investigators must use proactive methods to capture network related evidences as network traffics are usually unstable and dynamic. Network forensics involves two basic approaches in assembling the evidences. They are the first approach is the traditional tactics which catches and stores every data for future analysis. For example, logging users' network usage continuously and revising only in case of an alert. The second method scans the data passing across a particular network and captures only specific data. For example, categorizing only jammed network sites and capturing the precise user activity data formats. Owing to the increasing popularity of wireless, mobile and obscured communications, the use of network forensics is subsequently employed. This category of digital forensics is similar to computer forensics which includes extraction of evidences from the databases, the metadata, database server logs and information related to transactions within the database. Database forensics differentiates itself from database recovery. Database forensics focuses on systematic cross-examination of the unsuccessful database by attempting to rebuild the metadata and page information inside a data set, whereas a data recovery indicates the process of restoring the database to make it more feasible to re-enter a production situation or sometime even to turn out to be vigorous enough to afford a backup. Occasionally, a strong database may appear suspicious that puts the users in confusion and raise questions to prompt a forensic investigation. Some of the common aspects that needs the involvement of database forensic expert are database catastrophe, loss of database information either accidentally or significantly, database conflicts, recognition of suspicious user activities. The process takes place by running sequence of investigation tools to assist the following. They are generate a forensic database, duplicate it for investigation, recreate lost or removed data and log files, Interpret the data by determining the exploitation possibilities. Review user events for mistrustful and illegitimate actions and isolate them. Actually, these benefits the forensic experts to attain the database related suspect information which in turn will benefit for further inquiry and prosecution of the criminals during the initiation of the criminal proceedings against guilty rivalries. The database systems which are frequently used in forensics with respect to their DB schema are Oracle, MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server, PostgreSQL and MongoDB.